We're going to a place a lot of people may not have heard about yet. Jai. My name is Chai. Hello, Jai. nice to meet you. Perfect. Mm. See why I'm always trying to get you to come down? Hey champs, what's happening? Welcome to another episode of Tag Along with Chai. In a series of episodes, we're showing you the beauty of Bangkok. So, this episode is This Is Bangkok Part 7. We're standing at Hua Lumpung MRT train station and this train station is gonna get us all around Bangkok basically. We're going to a place a lot of people may not have heard about yet. We're going to Tombury. This is the other part of Bangkok that a lot of people skip when they are visiting Bangkok. So let me take you to Tombury in This Is Bangkok Part 7. We've just arrived at Bang Khun Non, and this is the very northwestern part of the place, the area that we're gonna cover for this episode. I need a toilet, so we might as well take you to the very first cafe that we bumped into. Let's take you to the Mekar Cafe and Bistro. This is right off the station. It's got a little rooftop you can actually see from here. Let's use this cafe for a toilet visit, a coffee, and also we're gonna have a beautiful view of the area that we're gonna cover. So we're literally coming off the stairs right here and we have to take an elevator up. Uh, it's pretty old school lift this is. Oh, see? Okay. <laughs> this is what I love about Bangkok is that you got all these crazy, uh, cra I'm saying crazy, but all these extraordinary things like walking inside here, you would never think this was a cafe. There is a few signs standing along the way, but. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, like Thank you. I actually are here just for a coffee. And we are on top, on the fourth floor, on top of this building, watching over Tombury on uh, the side, the other side, basically of the river. You know, a lot of people are going to uh, Zukunfit area. Uh, Koh San is a very famous area within Bangkok. So this time we are exploring a little bit of the the other side of Bangkok. I would say, <laughs> hey, for my American friends, can you please explain? Because I've been here now about a year and a half now in Thailand and around uh, Southeast Asia. And I always, or a lot of times, I order a hot Americano or an Americano Ron. Why does it called a hot Americano? I have no clue, you know. Is it the Americans that are always ordering a black coffee? <laughs> anyway, I just go along with it. A hot Americano it is. Macar Cafe and Bistro. Would I recommend stopping here? It's not a bad place, actually. It's, it's got good quality coffee. A lot of young Thai people come here to take an Instagram picture. And for us foreign tourists, I would say this is not a bad place to start your Tombury trip like we are doing right now. We went here because I had to go to the toilet, but also because of Banco Pet. I watched one of his videos to check out this area before I went here. I'm gonna have to give him a shout out because he's making quality videos of Bangkok. He's a great character with a lot of knowledge about Bangkok. He's doing a lot of railway track videos as well, but yeah, you're gonna have to check him out. I can't really explain what he's doing exactly. You're gonna have to watch it yourself. This place is open from 10 a.m. till 10 p.m. And even on Fridays and Saturdays, they're open till 11 p.m. So you can imagine how beautiful the skyline looks when it's dark. You know, you're a little bit outside of the city, overlooking pretty much the whole of Bangkok. Stunning place. There is not much shade. That's why there are not a lot of people outside right now. They just come outside, take a picture and then go, go back into the shade again. It's not much sun though at the moment. It might be raining later on this episode as well. Let's hope not. Fingers crossed. Ah, let's crack on. I almost forgot to tell you, they also have a delicious looking menu and they're selling beer. So if you're coming, let's say around nine o'clock and you just want to have a little drink, a little beverage, yeah, this is also one of your places you like to go if you want to go to this side of Bangkok. I'm not too sure what you're waiting for, champs. Let's crack on. This is Bangkok. And this is maybe also not what you see when you're on your trip 
to Bangkok or on your trip to the north or going to the islands at the beach. Uh, there are houses like straight right next to the railway. I've been to the biggest slum in Bangkok. This was uh, more than a year ago. And someone was uh, telling me like, you're looking down on these people and like, no, not at all. I'm looking up to these people. I found it, or this whole journey really, a very inspiring journey. And yeah, I can just learn a lot from other people. And hopefully I can share this with you as well. The things that I have been learning, the things that I'm learning along the way. We're normally doing a lot of street interviews and learning directly from other people. Uh, this episode, we're hopefully, there's a guy, a local guy, can tell us a little bit more about the place where we are right now. Later on this episode, we're also gonna meet Gary again. This channel is basically about sharing our experiences and I'm not only sharing my experiences, no, I'm also sharing other people's experiences. I'd like to show you a link right there you can click on if you are interested in the biggest slum in Bangkok. There are slums still here in Thailand, in Bangkok, but they're actually not that bad. And also the government is trying to build new buildings for a lot of people. So that video, by the way, and I also linked that at the end of this video, uh, I made yeah, more than a year ago. So you don't expect really good quality, but yeah, you may be interested. I don't know. gonna flag down a motorbike taxi luckily they are uh, standing at a lot of places right here they're really common they're always wearing these orange vests sometimes they're red but most of them they're orange and quite easy to notice and if they are not easy to notice most of the time they're noticing you walking around and they uh, give you a little wave this taxi driver didn't know what I was saying Pan Plung B is a very famous restaurant but uh, yeah, I, my pronunciation is wrong. Anyway, super friendly people again on this side of the river. Let's go. How are you? How are you? I have seen your. Oh, what what did you see? Oh yeah. Um, my Are you name is Om. Om. Nice to meet you, Chai. My name is Choi. Hello, Chai. nice to meet you. Thun Bui Sai, Bangkok is an old capital city. Actually, where the Bangkok begins, it's just right, right here. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Before the, let's say, the new Bangkok, can I say it like well, that? Well, yeah, because like they're around here, right? Yes. The, we have so many canals. Yeah. And canals, like their boat was the main transportation back then. Uh, the access, this canal is just like street right now. So. Uh, Bangkok, 250 years ago, yeah. these guys like behind us were rich people because yeah. they were like there. They have a house in front of the water, mm. which means they have a house in front of their sky train or subway. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And then like they're around here, it's like all packed. Okay. They cannot expand the city, so the king decided to move to the other side, yeah. which is called Bangkok side, like financial district. Yeah. But most of Thai people, the residential, we live on this side yeah. because we cannot afford. Sukhumvit side, right, financial district. Yeah. So we leave here and then we go work the other side. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, and lucky enough, there's also an MRT right now. There are a few yeah, stops yeah, here yeah, at the yeah, moment. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. this is also why it's so easy, accessible uh, to come over here. And we would like to show the whole of Bangkok. And this yeah. is a perfect moment to also show this side yeah, of Bangkok. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you've, you've got a, a company here as well? Yeah, I do yeah. the Hidden Bangkok yeah. tours. Uh, Hidden Bangkok is, with, we are taking all the tourists. Yeah. Uh, to the not see the tourists, so take taking the tourists like to meet local. Yep. Yeah, and become our friends because yep. you know if you think of like the Bangkok, right? A lot of people said like the, when you come to Bangkok, just only stay on one or two days because Bangkok is such a touristy city. Yeah. But it depends, you know, where you go. Yeah. If you are sticking the Sukhumvit Silom, which is okay, you know, if you, some people like it, it's fine. Yep. But if you go a little bit further, it's only 20 minutes by subway. Yeah. You can come to this side of Bangkok and then this is like where the local people live. Mm. What would be the, the best thing about this side, you would say? Um, I would say like if you come to this side, mm -hmm. like the, okay, the best thing, <laughs> we like to have a joke, like when you cross the river, yeah. half price. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. 
there's not so many people who work with tourists. Mm -hmm. You get the what local pay, mm -hmm. you pay the same what local. Yeah. And also we got the canals, mm -hmm. like the the canals, like uh, I do like the cruise, you know, like the 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 time machine boat bring you guys back into Bangkok oh, 1960. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So we can we can put a link down in yes, the description, please, yeah, yeah, and yeah. then you able if you are coming to Bangkok and I try to bring more people and let them stay a little bit longer before they hit the beach or hit the mountains. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah meet Om because Tabun yeah, he's uh, having this amazing company. Hopefully we'll see a little bit more yeah. of you in later episodes because yes. we're making a series of this is Bangkok and uh, yeah, this yes, is... Yes, uh, please. Okay. And also like, you know, like you can check out Bangkok, like the hidden Bangkok park in two hours from the water. Ah. And that seemed like, it's just like Bangkok 1960. Like, like, like a boat tour you, you were uh, Yeah, you I do like the boat experience tour to take you guys to see so many abandoned houses. Yeah. Abandoned houses over there. I'm not really sure like how long mm -hmm. this will survive because yeah. um, like all the foundation yeah. almost crap. Yeah. yeah. So, so come and check it out. Come and check it out soon. Let's crack on. This is Bangkok. We're just 100 meters away from the place where we were talking to Om. He can be very helpful if you want to explore Bangkok, the proper Bangkok, I should say. Not only the Sukhumvit area you should check out, but also places like this. This episode is getting to its end, but we have a special guest I'd like to introduce you to. Uh, a lot of you probably know him already. He's a very good cook. He knows a lot about the Thai food. Uh, he's uh, expanding himself a little bit throughout Southeast Asia as well. He's been going back and forward to uh, Vietnam and Laos. James, I have said enough. We are gonna meet Gary from the Roaming Coop. You're basically going to a local pier. And um, I think we're gonna have a, a little beverage, a little beer. What do you got? Like a lady just what doing you her uh, handwork. Handcraft. Uh, he speaks very good English. Oh, okay. No, not very good. What <laughs> Chadma? Thamada, thamada. Me be a lana. Me be a chan. Me, me quad leg me. My me. Okay. 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 Big one. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna get in trouble here. Uh, Elon is waiting for us. We're gonna do some mukata tonight. We uh, we ordered two Heineken. With Heineken. My, hey, with your Dutch friend. Yeah, exactly. That's what I ordered for you, man. Pure no. malt beer from the. From here. Thank you so much. Kobong Kab? Om. Om by Miluka. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, Punaka, thank you. Okay, man. Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> he's got change. He's got change. Uh, 150 baht together. Kab? Uh, thank you. 150 baht together. Such a bargain. For Such a bargain. Two Heineken like, as well. Where else are you going to get this sort of view? We're going to show you in a sec, guys, this view <laughs> and just being able to just like speak and just mingle with the local community. That was and, what? And order a beer out of a hundred year old house. Yes, if not 150 year old house. Exactly. So that's what I was almost saying. This part of the city, you get to meet the locals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's what uh, you also get on the other side, but you get more people that are, you get more locals that are really used to tourists. Tourists, yeah, yeah. Try to up the price a little bit. It's, it's this one, normally, this one you 75 in the shop, so. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> wow. Uh, 100. Such a nice guy. Oh, no, no, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. We go sit here. It's okay. If, you, if we can. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at how the sun is setting, jams. <laughs> this is the perfect moment to be out here at the Klong. No, we're, we're getting these sunsets pretty much daily now. Yes. Well, yeah. the, the rain was in the sky. I just got a text from Ilona. She, uh, she, got, she got cut in the rain. Oh, really? Yeah, it has been raining parts of Bangkok, but not on this side. We, we yeah. turned out to be a good side. Perfect. Mm. See why I'm always trying to get you to come down here? It's good. So do you live here as well? Like I, live near? Near, I live nearby. This is, yeah. I call this my office. So this is my office. <laughs> this is where I work. So what, what's so good about this area? I mean, for me, um, like everyone thinks I hate Sukhumvit. I don't hate Sukhumvit, but no. I mean, it's like any other city in the world. When you're in the center of town, it, you could be anywhere. Whereas here, 
you just feel like you're in a completely different world. Yeah. It's like literally going back 60 years. It's like a part of Bangkok that time forgot. And everyone's so friendly as you've seen today. Yeah. They got uncle there. I mean, yeah, yeah the, the, the locals are amazing. They love coming, like you coming down and trying to speak English and stuff. So yeah, cool. yeah. But also I, that's what I try to give as advice as well. And I'm learning now slowly, way too slow. But to, to speak a little bit of Thai, yeah. it definitely helps, you know, when For you sure. come down here. Uh, they really appreciate it and uh, communicating is maybe a little bit easier sometimes. Definitely. For today's episode, champ of the day, what's name? Thank you champ, you've been recently coming and, and visiting the channel and directly commenting straight away so I really appreciate that. How to become a champ of the day or how to become a super champ I describe in the description. Also what I'd like to show in the description is the links to meet Om and to book your trips. Come and visit this part of the city. Yeah, for sure. And also come and visit uh, the channel of the Gary, Roman Gary Cook. the Roaming Cook. Of course. But if you, if guys, if you're not comfortable with just coming down here and walking around, as Chai said, get in touch with Om. He'll sort you out a little tour. We've got loads and loads of different tour guys, all absolutely amazing. So, mate, thank you for just crashing well, this little on, episode. Man. Sorry for... to just jump in on your video. No, but... no, no. This was good. It was always good to meet you. I would like to say from Tombury, the other side of Bangkok. Bye for now and stay, stay champ. champ. <laughs>